Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging with these huge glasses. They look really big, don't they? While coming at you with thoughts today, I'm here in the backyard secretly away from the animals because I can't stand the stagnant heat. It's just nothing's moving here. I'm going to have a drag of a cigarette right on camera and I'll tell you why. Government came out today and said that we all have to start smoking. It's the only way to control the thang. Flattening the curve, all that jazz. Cigarettes are mandatory now, ladies and gentlemen. I just have to tell you so. You better go get one right now. It um, does something in the lungs to protect you from the airborne heat-seeking missile of a virus. It's ready to dive into you and take over your life. I admit, I got the heat-seeking missile thing from Church Dog 42. I stole it from him. So I'm admitting freely. It's not my idea. Which brings me to this. Is anything really original? I don't think it is. At all. I'm uh, discouraged and I'm sitting out here talking to you about it. Um, found out a few things today in terms of our immediate area here. Remember a long time ago when this whole thing started to unfold and I might have mentioned in passing that I don't really see the um, paper springing back into action or at any time soon or at all because we rely on the mom and pop stores. Mom and pop to keep us thriving. Not that we've been thriving since 2000. And when I first started the paper, we were thriving. Well, it was kind of like not really until I took over the ad department. I'm not bragging, but I brought the paper up from like eight pages to 24 at times with my superior uh, advertising selling skills. <laughs> um, and then 2008 came along and, you know, people have never really recovered around here from that. Yeah. Anyhow, let me pause a minute and catch my breath. Might have to smoke again to keep away the thing. Just kidding. It is kind of bright out here, so I'm going to have to keep on these I don't know, windshields on my face. Uh, yeah, when this whole thing first began, you know, the whole paper deal. So now I find out that, uh, well, I found this out a few weeks ago, that the Crawford County Fair, which is the largest agricultural fair in the state of Pennsylvania, takes place in August every year. I used to show my horse up there when I was a child. Not a child. Well, yeah, I was. I was a teenager. It's the place where I did 14 shots of slow gin and got sick. I told you about it before during a live gig. 14 shots of slow gin. I mean, only a like a 16 or 17-year-old kid would do such a thing. Oh, I'm sorry, thing. Um, it's canceled, you know, because of the thing. Then I find out today from my boss that uh, the Pumpkin Fest. Some of you have been with me for a while, and you've uh, maybe taken in some views of the fest for my video series. Canceled. It's in October. I, I really honestly do not see a future for the paper. So I'm reaching out right now. I'm wondering if you know any rich donors that would sponsor me uh, to do my own uh, newsletter where I can be completely honest, take the government to task, bring in voices that aren't heard, uh, interview people that won't get any time in the regular media, will not be printing press releases from any governmental agency without at least uh, interviewing somebody about it or taking them to task. They just print it, you know, these papers around here or whatever. Whatever the government says, they go with it. It's what happened to any kind of journalism, I'll, I want to know. Um, yeah, so I'm looking for a rich donor that won't mind if I'm completely honest and I'll start my own little newsletter. What do you think of them apples, as they say here? Also, I've been following a gentleman by the name of T-W-E-L-P-H-S-O-U-L. Gimme, gimme, gimme soul. S-O-U-L. Soul, soul. Cheer from my olden days. Anyhow, he has been traveling, I think, from Oregon. I picked up with him in California, actually, so maybe it's that. I could be wrong. And going all over the country. He doesn't have that many subs, and he does... um. You know, he does these videos. I think a lot of people might watch him on Facebook. But he has visited many states, and he's doing kind of man-on-the-street interviews. And it's just a shame that people aren't watching. He's talking about the, you know, the thing and how they feel about it. And He notices the closer he gets to cities, the more of the costume he sees and stuff. I'll probably drop a link here to that channel if you're interested in it at all. And then I have a word from the child, my child. Uh, who else would it be? He's over in, where are they right now? They're in Boston, but they were in Salem, Massachusetts, evidently. Mandatory masks on the street, ladies and gentlemen. And somebody told me, I forget who it was, that um, 
there's uh, one way you can walk. Boy, these things make you hot. I don't know how Mother stands it. She wears satellite dishes on her face. Um, one way, you know, you can only walk one way. So, I mean, come on. Is anybody at least raising an eyebrow? This is just silly. It's plain silly. This is based on silliness. I can't think of another word. Okay, I'm done, I think. Oops, I just made the sign of the okay. It's only because I'm holding a glooby, ladies and gentlemen. I only wish I were attached to some secret society right now so I could, you know, start my own newsletter with their backing. I'm kidding. Because <laughs> I'd be exposing them as well. Okay, I'm done, I think. God knows what will go on later. I might make more videos. I might just dedicate my life to making videos and forget about anything else. Yeah. Live for you. Oh, Buddy Bates, while I have you, if you're watching. I think I'm going to do mainly a rerun for your birthday. I mean, I'll jazz some things up with some new visual aids and stuff, but I don't have to get up and go to do much. It's all I can do to, to drag my body through these final weeks of uh, before I go on uh, break officially. You know that I was going to give up the entire thing when this whole thing started. I thought, what's the point of doing the game shows on Sunday? But some people reached out to me secretly, some nameless, faceless people, and said, you know, please don't do it because it's a nice break from reality, I guess. And uh, people like to keep a routine and all that. I do like doing it. I mean, I don't want to sound like I'm hating its guts or anything. It's just, you know, it's just time for a break. That's all. Um, okay, that's uh, over and out. Man alive, I hope it pours down rain. I hope it... The other day I did a rain dance with Bernadette. I rubbed her head and I kept on saying, rain and doing all this weird stuff I've never done in my life. And it rained, but it was going to rain anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Join me, join others, drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Let's research before we judge. And I mean research without Google and Wikipedia. Uh, leave labels at the door. I don't even know what I'm saying. I think I goofed up my closing. Uh, War is a racket. I forget what I say. Uh, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you. Thoughts today. Join me. Join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Ouch, my butt. Uh, research before you judge. Remember, war is a racket. Don't take my word for it. Check out General Smedley Butler and what he had to say. And when the child returns to town, evidently he's going to have huge scoops for us. I'm sure they've been... Uh, Katie's quite the photo journalist. I'm sure they've been photographing it and sharing it on Facebook, but I avoid Facebook like the plague. I, the wall, anyway. I mean, I do use the private messenger area all the time. Okay, that's all. Bye-bye.